when Drake posted me on Instagram, when he did that, I could not use my phone for two days. I had so many new followers, so many people hitting me up. The internet just went crazy. Hi, my name is Kayla Greer, former private chef to Drake, Migos, and Nipsey Hussle. Today, I will be making you the best you ever had shrimp tacos, a dish I will make for Drake all the time. We really connected over this dish. It was one of those moments where he would come and join me in the kitchen and really be wild and excited about what he was eating for the day. And I found out that he hates cilantro, which was just so interesting because cilantro is my absolute favorite, favorite ingredient. So that's why I chose this dish. It just brings back great memories. First things first, let's just get straight into the shrimp. You wanna use cleaned and deveined large shrimp that will butterfly and rough chop. You want bite-sized pieces so that nothing's too big or too small when you bite into your tacos. You just pinch the back and give a slice down the middle, just like that. You wanna use a good size shrimp simply because it has more meat on it. The more meat per bite, the better. It's a texture thing. So once we butterfly it, then you'll do a rough chop. Doesn't have to be perfect, you just wanna cut it down. I like when there's different shapes and textures and meatiness. Also, the way I like to do it is I sometimes will hold the tail and the tip and cut it like that and it automatically goes to three pieces. So if you're short on time, you just do it just like that. Hold these two, cut it right in the middle, three pieces. All right, so now that we have our shrimp all cleaned and cut, we can get into seasoning our shrimp. We have some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, black pepper, cumin, and we have my Chef KK seasoning that is to die for. You can get it on my website at chefk.com. We're gonna just jump straight into adding all of this, which was about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of each. It depends on how much you like your food seasoned, as well as some KK. Add some black pepper. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna give you guys a quick story. When I first met Drake, oh my goodness, it was so intense. I got a call from a friend of mine, his name is Chasing Cash, he is a record producer, and he told me that he wanted me to do a party for him. Right after he told me it was for Drake. And it was the biggest, like I couldn't believe it, I was very young at the time, and it was actually one of my biggest clients, my, my first big, 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 big client. I had less than 24 hours to cook a whole Super Bowl Sunday meal for 100 people. 100 people quickly turned into two to 300 people. I went to Calabasas, I made this incredible, huge spread of Super Bowl food, and the rest was history. I went on to work for Drake for three years, and it was just all thanks to my boy, Chasing Cash. Once you get all your seasonings in there, you're just gonna give it a quick stir, cover it, and put it in the refrigerator. Next, we're gonna jump into the sauce. It's very simple, just some sour cream, tomatillo green salsa, lime, chipotle seasoning, and some salt. You don't wanna overpower it, it's very simple, um, but everything just works together perfectly to where it'll all be exactly what you need it to be. There we have a squeeze of lime, and we're just gonna put our green sauce directly into our sour cream, give it a stir, I mean, these tacos are incredible. The way that they all come together, this is just gonna add like a creamy, citrusy, smoky element to the tacos. There's a lot of different textures, a lot of different flavors, and it all really works well together. This recipe actually came to me in a dream, and I made it originally for my family. Just have made it a staple in my entire career. Um, I'm known for my shrimp tacos, hence why Drake loved them so much. They were like, a real like heartfelt recipe that I came up with. So this, this recipe overall is very special to me. And this is perfect. It has a great color as well. You'll see that there's a lot of different ingredients in this dish and it just works. Now that this is perfectly mixed, we're gonna set this in the fridge. So now we're gonna move into my pickled jalapeno cilantro slaw. This slaw is incredible. It isn't a cream based slaw, it's more of a citrus based slaw. And it adds just such a great crunch and texture and zing to this dish. So we're gonna do some red onion. We have green onion, cilantro, and pickled jalapenos, plus the pickled jalapeno juice. 
That's the major key right there. We're gonna start with a green cabbage and we're just gonna cut thin slices of it. Not too thick and not too thin because you don't want it to absorb so much of the liquid that it turns into just a soggy slaw. You still want it to have good crunch. So now that we have our cabbage all cut up, we're gonna add that to our bowl. And um, we're gonna add cilantro. I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how I like to cut my cilantro. For me, after you clean it and dry it very well, you wanna bunch it up like you're making a chiffonade. You wanna make sure that you really run your knife through it nicely. You don't wanna bruise your cilantro. It will definitely change the color and the texture of your cilantro. Now, the one thing I will say about this cilantro and this particular recipe in general is this is one of the things I had to alter. Drake does not like cilantro and it is the most weird thing I've ever heard. My whole life being around cilantro and onions and those type of flavors, like hearing a person not liking cilantro was mind blowing to me. And it's because he said it tastes like soap. And come to find out that's one of the like most common things that people say. When I made this for him, I did not use cilantro. So if you're one of those people that think cilantro tastes like soap, it'll taste just as good without it. I'm gonna add the cilantro right into the bowl and I'm gonna follow that with some minced red onion. We have our green onion and cilantro as well as jarred pickled jalapeno. I have some of the juice in here as well. This is one of the best kept secrets to food sometimes. We think of a pickled jalapeno and we only put them on nachos, but cook with it more. Now we have our lime. This is a half a lime. We'll add some lemon. Again, this is a jalapeno cilantro slaw. You can use the tamed jalapenos if you like. If you're more of a spicy jalapeno type of person, you can use the hot ones. It's all preference. And the only ingredient left is salt. So as long as your citrus and your salt is right, because those two go hand in hand, acid and salt, then it would be a great dish. But while I'm mixing this, I'll tell you guys another story. You know, Drake actually threw me a party. He was just like, invite whoever you want, invite your friends, like we're gonna have a party, and like, just, just chill, just hang out. I mean, you gotta think, the 22 year old me was like, oh my God, <laughs> like Drake told me I can invite whoever I want over his house and have a party. And I mean, that was just one of the like, many great, great times I've had just, you know, being always invited to all the concerts and all the shows and being in different states and running into him at parties and just being, just having such a time, you know, like those days were so good. And that just all came from just being like his personal chef. It was so cool. I wish I could tell you more about the party, but you just have to be there. Okay, so just like everything else, we're done here. We're gonna set it in the fridge and get to the next thing. So now we can get to the fun part, which is actually cooking. We have our shrimp that's been marinating in the fridge, butter, salt, some fresh spinach, tomatoes, onion, red bell pepper, fresh lime wedges, olive oil, and modelo. I like to use modelo to deglaze the pan. Of course, it's a Mexican beer and we are making tacos, so it gives great flavor, but it also, has a good color on it that really picks up those little bits and pieces that you'll see form once we start cooking. The spinach as well just adds a great texture and it all just marries together perfectly. So let's get started. You want a really hot pan for this, so you want to give it a second to really develop that heat. Okay, so we're gonna add our extra virgin olive oil. And you want a generous amount, as well as some butter, about a tablespoon. Okay, so I have another story for you guys. This is when he posted me on his Instagram page. When Drake posted me on Instagram, that's when everything really, really changed. It was still like fairly the beginning of my career. And again, he was my first really big client. Having that take place back in 2013, I mean, Instagram was still only two years old. That was so major. We have the pan nice and hot. So we're gonna add a good hand full of peppers, some onion, some tomato, and you just want it to develop color. 
Now back to the story. So when he asked me to take a picture, I was like, no way. And the crazy thing about it was, I was making these tacos. He directed the picture and everything. He's like, hold your knife up. And I held my knife up and he took the picture. And I remember the caption said, a knife and a smile. When he did that, I could not use my phone for two days. I had so many new followers. So many people hitting me up, so many people emailing me, sending me their songs in my email. Like, the internet just went crazy. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I feel like it was still really new. Nobody really seen that side of celebrities. Nobody really seen a private chef. That drew a lot of attention to me as a celebrity private chef. And I mean, it was, it was just the beginning of so much more. It's just a blessing. And I think that plays into like who Drake is as an artist. Um, it's like, he's that first big person for so many different people. This has been cooking for roughly about a minute. As you can see, it's already developing some really good color. We're gonna add the shrimp. And you're gonna add a little bit of Modelo. The Modelo deglazes the pan. You know, if you're making Italian food, you'll probably use some wine, or if you were making gravy, you would use some chicken stock, but here we're using Mexican beer. It just makes the food taste better. I think color just makes food better. This smells incredible. It smells like a fiesta. We're gonna add our spinach, since spinach cooks really quickly. So you see how it's developed this color around the pan and the seasonings have kind of like really stuck there. That's what I really like the Modelo to pick up. That's what adds good flavor to the taco. And now that it's pretty much finished, we're gonna add a squeeze of lime and just give it one more quick toss. We have our shrimp mixture finally done. All these incredible flavors married together, deglazed with some beer. It smells so good in here. Our final step before we eat these are the shells. And these shells, it's an LA staple. These shells are corn tortillas, lightly fried and crispy, and then stuffed with all that great shrimp and slaw and sauce and just, it's, it's incredible. Let's get started. The shells are super simple once you have it down packed. It's definitely a technique, so let's get into this together. You're gonna start with turning on your pan. Medium high heat is great, and then adding your oil. You can use olive oil, um, vegetable oil, canola oil, avocado oil, whatever oil you choose, but you will be lightly frying it, so you want it to have a nice uh, smoke point. Once this heats up, we'll add our corn tortilla. So the pan is nice and hot. We're just gonna add the shell in there. I like to use another shell to pick it up, and then you wanna fold it like that. It's really simple. It's a thing in LA, like do you make good taco shells? You know, some people like them really crispy, some people like them softer. For this particular taco, I like it right in the middle. I think that's why he was so intrigued with these tacos. I believe that it was new for him. He never had anything like this. I used to make them all the time, but then he started changing his life around. <laughs> he wasn't eating tacos anymore. He really got on a health kick and these taco shells was out of the door, but he still wanted the shrimp tacos. So we just would put it with some like rice or salad and still enjoyed it. But I had to kind of switch the recipe around because we weren't doing shells anymore. Not too hard, not too soft. And then you just fold it like that and let it drain. Cool. Now that we have everything done, it's time to put it together. So we're gonna start with our shells, some shrimp. You wanna make sure you get some of everything in there, that peppers, onion, tomato. We're gonna add some slaw. And you use your hands, just make sure they're clean. <laughs> some of our cream sauce and cotilla cheese. Use a lime to hold that up. And then you just wanna repeat it. Mm -hmm. 
These will be the best you ever had tacos. So let's give them a try. Mm. Man, these are bomb. I haven't made them in a minute. I mean, this just brings back so many great memories and I loved sharing my experience with Drake as his private chef with you all. I mean, he's just such an amazing person and it was just such a great opportunity for me. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure sharing this recipe with you guys. You can find me at chefk.com or on Instagram at chefkk. Don't forget your seasoning at chefk.com. Your food will never be the same. For more recipes like this, check out delish.com. Bye.